Hello everybody, my name is Ben Hartley with Six Figure Photography. I also own a wedding photography studio in Columbus, Ohio called Style and Story. Now, on the podcast, I had the opportunity to interview uh, Emily Reeder here, episode 98 of the Six Figure Photography Podcast, and we get to talking about the importance of detail shots, and that's normally not been necessarily something that I have, like, prioritized. And um, so it just got me thinking uh, uh, of some ways that we could do this a little bit more excellently at the studio. And so I got a chance to check out these styling mats from Kiss. And, um, and I wanted to kind of bring them on and show you guys um, a little bit about them, give you some of my thoughts uh, on the styling mats themselves. Um, I ended up getting a leather one and a linen one. This is something that, you know, typically the way that I've approached any sort of detail shot is I arrive on the wedding day and I, I go up to the couple um, and I usually start with uh, having my second shooter actually get the details. And so I'll ask for, you know, anything that she's essentially going to be putting on that day. Um, and then I would just have the second shooter scavenge around, look for something that is clean, that is minimal, uh, that is consistent, a consistent surface. And sometimes I get it, right? Sometimes there's like a leather couch or maybe we get a chance to like use the, uh, maybe the bride's veil or something. But every now and then we are in a pickle where we have no consistent surface surface to end up photographing the details on the shoes, the, the, um, the invitations, the rings, the jewelry, all that kind of stuff. And so this actually has come in handy. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I didn't really think it was going to be that big of a difference, that big of a deal until I started taking it with me on weddings and pleasantly discovering uh, just how helpful it was. And so um, there are a couple different options that you can do, and it's really preference, um, but I'll kind of open this up and walk you through. Uh, this is just like the core of it. So I, I like, I'm a leather guy. I really like leather, and it's uh, for me, leather is about uh, more than anything texture. And so this is this, uh, it, what I like about the texture of leather is there isn't, there kind of isn't, uh, how do I put this, a patterned texture. So uh, I'll come back to the leather because it's my favorite. I'll start here with the linen. When I say a patterned texture, there, you know, there has, there's literally like a weave in it. And so it kind of creates a pattern. Now, um, th that can be great if you like that look, if you like that aesthetic, it's just not for me. Now, the one thing I would say is that with the linen, it does have a tendency to want to roll, right? The leather, you'll see when I get it out, the leather is like, it's it's weighted, it just kind of like, just kind of lays there. So the linen kind of wants to roll and it kind of has, uh, if you don't take care of it, a tendency to get wrinkled. So th they've kind of come up with a solution for this where they actually have like stretcher bars more or less. And so you just kind of insert this these little poles, these metal rods into the back. It has a little kind of a, a little fold there. Um, and it'll kind of keep it taut and weighed down. So they, they actually have some weight to it. So when I do this, you'll see that the linen uh, styling mat, wait for it, will lay flat, which is awesome. Okay, so boom. So now the linen mat is going to lay like right across here just fine. It's just a preference thing that I, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of it. There's also one other reason that I'm going to show you why I like the leather far more than the linen. Uh, and I'll show you that right now. Okay, so here's here's what I love about the, the leather. First off, like I said, I'm a fan of the texture uh, in that it doesn't have a recognizable pattern. I'm also a fan of the way that it just kind of like weighs down, it has weight to it, and, and it'll fit kind of any surface really well, it just kind of flows. Like if I wanted to um, create something, like if I wanted to put some things underneath it, it just has like this nice kind of way of like cascading down a surface uh, in a neat kind of way. So the other thing that I love, and this is easily my favorite thing, is that Kiss, they ended up putting these two little strips of ribbon on the top, they have attached it to the top. And this has been so clutch, you guys. This has been actually really, really clutch. And you'll see, so in the photographs I'm showing you here, the, we actually just use this ribbon as a part of the styling. So that way, you know, you lay this out, uh, you put your shenanigans on it, you know, and then you can just literally just kind of finagle this ribbon to kind of en encircle stuff and, and cascade around. Now, they do offer other, um, 
uh, ribbons, other silk ribbons as a spool that you can really kind of use a lot of it uh, as well. But I've actually found just this little bit of, of ribbon here alone has been enough to make an uninteresting, uh, pretty standard uh, styled lay flat design. Re really interesting. So um, I've actually been really surprised by it. Um, I like it a lot. And now I only have two. They've got a lot of colors. I did this kind of like blush pink uh, and then that standard linen. Uh, I've pretty much only used the blush pink. Not gonna lie, it's been like, man, like it's it's my absolute favorite. The only issue that that you need to be cautious of is the repetition. So I've been using this, you know, the last four or five weddings I've done. And already as I'm going back looking at those images, they all have the same feel. They all have the same aesthetic. And so you almost need to be aware of that and then use it when it makes sense to. I think you should always start with uh, looking to see, does is there already a space that makes more sense contextually to the couple? You know, if you're doing getting ready shots at the bride's house, is there a way to incorporate something that is hers, that is her parents, a sofa, a certain blanket, a, a certain location that actually has more meaning to the couple? And then when you get into the pickle, you'll always have this on you and you can pull it out when you need to. The other solution would be to just have multiple colors, multiple kind of textures uh, available for you that you'd use kind of depending on the aesthetic for the wedding. So um, all in all, really surprised by it. Uh, really enjoy it. Um, I just kind of wanted to drop this in there. If you want to go listen to the episode of the podcast, episode 98 of the Six Figure Photography Podcast, you'll actually hear, uh, it's kind of funny, in the interview, I'm relatively skeptical too. I'm like, really? Are detail shots all that important? But it, it ends up being a really great episode um, and it's opened up some new possibilities for how to incorporate uh, detail shots beautifully executed for my couples. So appreciate it, you guys.